Hey guys, how y'all doing? How are y'all doing? I hope everybody out there is having a great day. Um, I hope you had a great weekend. Uh, I didn't really do too much this weekend. You know, the past weekend they had um, Halloween. So, you know, of course, they had a lot of uh, people preparing for that, for the little trick-or-treaters and all that. Normally on the weekend, especially like on Saturdays, I normally watch Love and Marriage Huntsville. But um, I didn't do that this Saturday, and I really don't even really know why, other than I just really wasn't 100% myself. I was just really tired this weekend, and just kind of, you know, just really tired. I didn't do anything really that Saturday. Uh, Sunday, I did get up and do some things, and I did end up taking my granddaughter trick-or-treating. But yeah, so um, since I didn't really get a chance to watch the Love and Marriage Huntsville, so I can't bring you guys that, and I didn't go back and look at it on demand. I figured I'd just wait to this coming weekend and check it out again because they should be coming to the end of their season. So, yeah, i just bring all that to you guys the next time we talk, okay? But um, I was out um, uh, a day or so ago running some errands. So, you know, I was like, okay, you know, I usually try to keep my gas tank on half. I try not to go below half because I know gas price is really kind of getting up there. But uh, I was ready at about half. I'm not doing my little things and running here and running there. And I was like, on the way back home, I was like, well, let me just go ahead and top my gas off and have it topped off. Because usually a full tank of gas lasts me at least two weeks. I mean, clear, I mean, easily two weeks. So I stop at the gas station, I get out, you know, and I put my little card in and I, you know, start pumping my gas. And I really wasn't even paying attention to the price because I already know that gas is going up, okay? So it's pumping, like I said, now I keep in mind, my gas needle is like at half. So I'm thinking it ain't gonna take no more than about $10, $15. Top it off, I'm done. So it's pumping, it's pumping, and it go past 10, and it go past 15. So then I'm looking at the, um, looking at the price because I really wasn't paying attention and it said $3.99, so I'm like, dang, I must have hit premium. I was like, oh, because I always put regular unleaded. I don't ever put premium in it. And I'm like, well, you know what? Still talking to myself. I'm like, you know what? Uh, Bessie going to get a good dose of uh, gas today. She going to get some good gas, and hopefully it don't mess her up or anything because she ain't used to getting no premium. So it's just pumping, and it's going on, doing this thing. So it hit uh, $20, and I'm looking like, $20? I should be, my tank should be full by now, you know. And I look at the um, gallons, and that's right at about five gallons. And I'm like, five gallons for three ninety nine? Oh, my God. So it just goes on and on. So finally, my tank tops off at $26.34. So me, you know, I like to try to keep it even, even if it's, 26.35 or I try to, you know, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, well, let me just go ahead and top it on off, you know, pump it a little bit more and get it to at least $27. So I'm doing that. I'm pumping it and it pumping it till I get it, you know, real slow because I ain't trying to go past that $27. I don't want $27.01. I want to stop at $27. So I get it to $27 and that's like I said, right at about probably about seven, a little over seven uh, gallons of gas. And I'm I'm just like, wow, you know, because I, like I said, I really don't pay attention to the price because I, I got to have it. You got to have gas to get around, especially in this in the city that I stay in. We have no public uh, transit or anything like that. So I'm like, OK, cool. So I get back in the car and I'm still thinking in my head, it just cost me twenty seven dollars to fill up my little car, my little SUV. It's a small SUV. And I'm pulling off and I look up at the sign and it, it did say $3.99 for regular premium and like uh, $4.99 for Supreme or premium or whatever. I'm like, oh my God, $4 for a gallon of gas, come on. But you know, that's one of those things that we have to have, gotta have it. You know, um, it's crazy. <laughs> <coughs> You know, all I can say is that, you know, try to keep your vehicle above half of a tank if possible. And, you know, try to really, you know, 
think about when you got to get out and run your errands if you can try to take care of everything in one day and one trip and all that but i was thinking about people that's driving these um <laughs> escalates and uh suburbans and you know these tahoe and these big old um vehicles these big old suvs and these big old ram trucks and silverados and you know if it take $27 for my little vehicle at half a tank I'm I'm thinking it's got to take at least for a Cadillac Escalade you're talking about probably to fill it up if you pass that half you're going to go probably 60 or 70 and, and God forbid if you on E it's probably going to cost you $100 to fill your tank up oh my god and if you have to drive to work every day driving one of those type of vehicles Oh, Lord, you don't have to budget that into your weekly pay, into your bi-weekly pay. You got to have put off in there, write down your budget, and make sure you put off in there $100 for a tank of gas. That's crazy. That's really crazy. But, you know, they were saying on the news that there was no shortage in the gas or anything. So what is what is riding, you know, what's pushing the price of gas? So why is it so high? You know, what's going on with it? And, you know, it's. I mean, normally... You know, coming into your holidays, um, you know, gas will go up a little bit, a couple of cents here and there. But, you know, you're getting ready to come into your Thanksgiving and your, and your Christmas and then your, your kids out for the Christmas break and all that. And you're going to have to budget <laughs> your gas into that if you're planning on going on any type of family trips or going to family members' house for those holidays. You got to budget that off in there, man. That's that's crazy. Gas is just off the chain. It, it, I mean, I, I I am blessed and fortunate. Let me knock on some wood somewhere that, you know, I don't have to go daily to go to work or I'm not out there daily in the traffic or anything. But, I mean, Dad has to go to work every day and he's his car is a sports car and he used premium. And he, yeah, he has to, you know, drive at least probably about 25, 26, you know, between 25 and 30 miles a day to work. So, yeah. I, uh, uh. Oh, Lord. But I, I mean, I remember back in the day, you know, you can you can pull up to the gas tank and your your gas tank is on E and you could put $5 in there and you rolling for the, <laughs> you'll be rolling for another day or two with $5, you know, back in the day. But you pull up now with $5, you ain't gonna you you barely gonna get two tanks of gas. You 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 barely you, you might get two two gallons of gas. You might, depending on where you go. You know, if it's under under three ninety nine, you know, you put five dollars and <laughs> you might get a, a tank and a half a gas a gallon and a half or something like that. It's just crazy, man. It's just oh my God. I don't know what's going on. Mm -mm. But you know it's another thing it's kind of like a necessity you got to have it if you're in a in a city that doesn't have public transit and you have to go to work and you got to you know you got to go to these doctor's appointments and um, just go into the store to get your necessities and stuff like that you got to have gas you got to be able to move the vehicle it's not going to run on air i know they, they they really working on trying to get these electric cars and and all that you know i don't even know if i would want one because you have to let those charge you know probably quite a while and i know they probably go further than the average battery if you charge it up you might get probably eight eight to ten hours of driving or something like that but yeah it's just crazy it's crazy but uh i can understand now why you know because they were saying you know that uber has really went up in the in different ride shares that you can call to get the rides because people you know they don't have taxes like they used to, <laughs> used to do back in the day so you call an uber and you take you know you get an uber to take you a couple of miles and you're paying like 50 60 dollars for just a few miles but uh, you know i guess you got to understand that the price of the gas and that's why it costs um so much for them to transport you where you gotta go because you know they gotta make some type of profit off of it they already paying an arm and a leg for the gas so they got to get something out of it. So, yeah, you know, so I just try to limit my um, my outs and abouts, you know, during the week. If I got to go somewhere or really need to go somewhere, you know, I just kind of limit it. And then I just don't be want to get out. <laughs> I 
I guess sometimes I just don't even want to deal with it. So, you know, I, I try not to go out too much if I, you know, but I mean, I'm not going to let that stop me with the gas price of, you know, if I want to go somewhere or need to go somewhere, I'm going to do it. I'm definitely going to do it because, you know, it all comes down to, you know, once again, life is too short. I can't just stay stuck up in this house worried about how much gas costs and all that and not, you know, get out there and, and do what I need to do. So I'm not going to let the price of gas stop me or, or keep me in the house. But, um... I was just kind of shocked when I saw how that needle was that was pumping. It was pumping, and I'm like, uh, I know how much gas I got. I got about a half a tank. So, you know, I was just a little shocked because normally, you know, if I'm at a half a tank, it doesn't take any more than 10 to 15 to top me on off, and I'm and I'm good. You know, so you know, it is what it is. You can't control it. There's nothing you can do about it. And it's another one of those things you gotta have. You know, you can't get around it unless you uh, decide to ride a bike or, you know, downsize all the way to a motorcycle or something like that. Or if you decide to start trying to figure out a way that you can, you know, carpool with someone, you know, you know, you got to do what you got to do. But, you know, I'm not going to let the gas price stop me. But it was just kind of, it was funny because I'm standing at this gas pump talking to myself about this gas and i'm like thinking oh, okay i made a mistake i hit the uh premium and my baby getting some premium today <laughs> no 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 that was definitely not the case at all so just be careful when you're out there you know if you want to shop around on your gas prices or you want to google it and see where it's the cheapest but sometimes it's cheaper to go to the closest instead of riding around town trying to find it you know trying to save you a couple of cents here and there but you got to do what you got to do to make yourself happy and just put some extra pennies and coins in your pockets, you know. But that's it. I was just out and about doing that and thought I'd talk to you guys about these gas prices and stuff like that, okay? All right. Well, I am about to get up out of here. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to chill for the rest of the day. But before I go, guys, you know, you're going to be out and about, even if it's getting gas or whatever it is. If you choose to wear your mask, do so. If you choose not to wear your mask, it's your business. You don't have to. But just be safe while you're out there and about, okay? Hey, don't forget to go back and show Grandma some love. Share my video with your family and friends. Hit that subscribe button. Become one of my peoples. And guys, you know, I try to tell you this as often as possible. And I really appreciate all your support that you give me. I really do appreciate it, okay? I'm going to check you guys out next time around. Have a good one.